Morning folks, we are here at Glasgow Airport. It's very early in the morning. I've found, I think, a nice little quiet spot where I can tell you what I'm going to be up to this afternoon. So I'm just about to jump on a plane down to London. Um, I'm going to be going to my first ever Living Wage Commission meeting. Um, I'm very excited to be a commissioner for the real living wage in the United Kingdom. Uh, the, the living wage has been something that's incredibly important uh, to the whole team at Utopia, so we're all very excited um, that we're getting to be involved even more. For those of you who don't know, the Living Wage Commission basically oversees uh, the rate at which the real living wage is set in the UK and in London. Um, and that means that we're going to be seeing some facts and figures about the real cost of living in the UK and going to be making sure that the, the, the value that's put on the real living wage for an hour's rate of work is representative to what it means to be free of money worries um, to be able to provide for your family, to provide for your loved ones um, and, and not have the stress um, of not being able to afford the very basic things like putting food on the table and, and maybe even having you know, to be able to, to decorate your house. Um, these things it's quite often we take for granted. It's not everyone um, who is able to do that uh, and that's why the living wage is so important to me. Now, the Living Wage Commission is full of some really big, important heavy hitters. I'm actually taking the place of uh, one of my uh, business mentors, well, not mentors, idols. I um, wish he was my mentor, James Watt from Rudog. If you want to be my mentor, James, then just give me a shout. Uh, but yeah, James uh, stepped down from the commission last year and I was fortunate enough to be asked to take his place um, uh, alongside um, the likes of the, the head of IKEA in the UK, and um, we've got Nationwide represented there, the TUC. We're also going to have people um, from the likes of uh, the Bishop of Edmonton, the Deputy Mayor of London. Uh, it's going to be a really, really exciting um, time, a really exciting meeting, and I think it's really important that my ideas are going to be challenged by these people, um, that I'm going to learn things from them. Um, as I say, it's, um, it's a real honour to be involved. Um, and I'm looking forward uh, to, to doing my part uh, to be able to further the cause, uh, a cause which I think is really, really important. I, I had planned to do some really sweet kind of B-roll and stuff on the way down, and then um, when I realised my flight was quite so early in the morning, I realised that wasn't going to happen. Uh, so I thought I'd maybe do something yesterday, but a big shout out to the whole team at Utopia who dealt with an extremely busy day, which came out of the blue, very, very busy for us at Utopia yesterday. And then, of course, it was my wife's birthday. Um, so happy birthday again, Kaz. I had an amazing day, lovely meal with the family, but that meant that no B-roll. So um, I'm going to hit the road, I'm going to get on that plane, um, I'm going to see you when we're in London, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Cheers, folks. Hey folks, I've literally just came out of the Living Wage Commission meeting. Um, I couldn't help but uh, walk just a few moments down the road. Uh, it's Buckingham Palace in behind me. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of sightseeing while I was down here. Why not when the sun is out and it's shining like it is today? Uh, I have to say that the meeting was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's pretty busy around here. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be able to share with um, what actually went on in the meeting, but I can certainly give you my thoughts and feelings. Uh, about you know my first impressions of what was going on and um, yeah I think we'll get St James's Park just a couple of minutes away and then we'll go and try and find a little quiet spot there uh, to share uh, those thoughts. Okay hey folks um, just having a wee seat under uh, an, an awesome tree here in St James's Park uh, it's really really packed it's very busy today uh, but I think this is as, as quiet as a space as I'm going to find uh, really feeling very lucky to be down here in London with this beautiful weather. Uh, it's amazing seeing so many people out playing football, playing badminton, just kind of enjoying the nice weather. It's always a good sign. Uh, the Living Wage Commission meeting that I was just in was phenomenal. It was really good and my plan was that I was going to share with you some of the things that I learned from the meeting. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't want to put my foot in it on the first day on the commission, my first proper uh, day with the commission. Uh, I don't want to share something that I'm not supposed to. Uh, the, the, the new rates and all that kind of stuff uh, will, won't be coming out until November. Um, so I'm going to stay away from any kind of details. Um, but what I will say is that it was really, really fun to be in a room full of so many passionate people. Um, and also, it was incredibly fun, the kind of data geek in me found it incredibly fun um, to kind of see all the data be presented the way it was, um, data, the, the, the decisions and 
um, choices and discussions were based around. Um, I, I really enjoy making choices based on facts, on decision, you know, on real data. We do that at Utopia. We try and and base the choices we make as a company on numbers, on facts, on data that we can get our hands on. Um, and I, I know in a lot of places, uh, a lot of businesses, we still see. Uh, people making decisions just based on gut, and gut is good, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed today um, because everything we done, everything we spoke about, had some hard facts uh, backing up those choices. So, thoroughly enjoyed that. Looking forward to, um, you know, continuing to work with that team. Um, they're, they're really talented. I think I'm going to learn quite a lot, and I'm hoping that I can provide a little bit of value in my own way too. Um, with that, you know, the, the journey that Utopia has been on with regards to the living wage has been an incredible one. Um, we signed up uh, many years ago um, because we thought it was the right thing to do. We were one of the first companies in Scotland to sign up to it. We were the first in Ayrshire. Uh, thankfully, you know, we're not, we've, we, we, were, we were at the beginning and it has snowballed since then. Many, many more businesses are realizing that investing in all of their team um, uh, and, and, and sharing uh, you know the, 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 the profitability of the company throughout the company is is a way to go forward um, it creates an incredible feeling um, of team within any business uh, to know that everyone within the business um, is not struggling um, for the simple things in life the, the ability to be able to put food on the table um, to be able to you know dare I say it, even go on holiday a couple of times a year and um, with their families um, these are things that a lot of people take for granted but unfortunately there are still people in the UK that are working hard um, and and their employers are not looking after them in a way and um, that, that I personally find you know respectful to them for their their hard efforts um, and it's been a really interesting journey you know we signed up to living wage to be able to support our team um, but for me as a leader at Utopia, um, it's allowed me to, to meet literally hundreds of different businesses all across the UK to talk about my experience of the living wage, the, the, the overwhelmingly positive experience it's been. Um, it's got me to places like uh, Parliament, um, it's got me uh, TV interviews, it's got on the radio. Um, businesses uh, can make the most of whatever they want um, and I can't quite believe that in 2019 I'm now sitting here in London involved in the actual decision making process behind what the, the real living wage should be. Um, it's an incredible experience and I feel very very lucky to be part of it. Um, I guess that's kind of going to be all for today. I'm going to head on back over to the, the plane, get the plane home. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next uh, vlog. Um, hit me down in the comments below, you know, what did you think of this trip, what do you want to know, um, I promise I, can, I will not be giving anything away, uh, but if you have any questions about the living wage, um, maybe you're interested in knowing how your company can sign up uh, to the accreditation, it's dead straightforward, I can put you in touch with anyone you want um, with regards to making that happen, maybe you're a living wage company already and you want to talk about how amazing it's been for you or any other challenges you've had, then I would like to see those comments too. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next video, if you've not hit subscribe already please do um, and you have an awesome day. Cheers folks.